Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Terror Tech with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the first episode in which we take a proper look at the Sky Anchor. In the previous video, I had a quick look at it, and honestly, it looked absolutely amazing. Although I was a little bit upset about the altitude, it didn't really allow us to stay particularly high in the air, mostly because the Sky Anchor itself will slowly pull you back down if you go above a certain height. Well, it turns out there is a very, very easy solution to this. Originally, I tried to use the Better Future Stabilizing Computer, but sadly, that would not give you enough force to battle against the Sky Anchor itself. But instead, as many of you suggested, we can simply use this, the Better Future Linear Motion Machine. Now, what this does is it allows you to control the speed of your acceleration, but also just the overall speed your tech's going and the amount of thrust being produced. But more importantly... It allows that to happen even when you're not controlling the tech, which means you can have these floating far in the sky at any time. So just to prove this works, and honestly to prove it to myself, I'm going to very quickly make sure that this thing can fly into the sky once we add a couple of small ion drives. Yep, it definitely works. So if we jump on over to this... There we are. Now, it's angled at the moment because A, it isn't balanced, and B, we don't have enough gyroscopes. If we had all those, it would be stable and nice and in the middle. But the point is, even when I'm not controlling this, it still works out okay. Now, one thing I do want to find out is can it handle an AI? Bye! Bye! Yep, seems to be doing just fine. Now, the one problem I'm thinking of with this AI is, if it sees an enemy, will it try to chase it? Doesn't seem to be trying to follow me. Oh, no, no, there it goes. It just did a bit of a turny turn. Hmm. I'm considering trying to make a defense turret with them. That's the thing. At least the anchor stops it from going too far away. And if it isn't too high up, that should be okay. That is so weird looking. Yeah. Maybe we should just build a small base instead, or at least a move. Ah, that's what we should do. A movable satellite. I guess the only way to really make this work would be to either use the static AI, similar to this here, the anchored module, or just don't give it the ability to move to the sides. And just leave it there like a normal defense turret. Yep, that would probably be the easiest option. That's what we're doing today. What I would like is an aerial defense turret. Probably not as high up as that either. So we're probably going to use missiles, I'll admit. But I want to see if I can make this fully functional, easy to deploy. And then, of course, we are learning how all these systems work. In the next video, or at least the next time I use the Sky Anchor, we'll be building a proper sky base with fully functioning pretty much everything. Today, sky base light. We can also use multiple of these anchors. Now, the, the one problem is, if we use the linear motion machine, if we lose the anchors on the floor, this thing will just fly off like a balloon with the cord cut. It would be pretty darn bad. So having multiple of these would be really helpful. I'm not sure if you can heal these on the ground, but either way, we will be far too high up for that really to be a problem. Now, I also believe that if you have multiple of these anchors, there is more pull, so you can't get as high up from the ground without significantly increasing the amount of thrust. But saying that, this doesn't need to be that high up anyway. Definitely higher up than we were using in the last video, but not quite as extreme as the previous clip. So then, let's get this started. I think I would like these to be a bit further out, though. So, of course, the main thing about this is we need solar panels. So, how large are we actually going to make this? It doesn't need to be too big. We're probably going to use missiles because that will allow us to be much higher up. And we could have the missiles facing down. Which would look awesome. Yeah, having four small missile batteries. Perhaps a three each or four each. What is two each, actually? Two, 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 two. That might be the way to go. But then where do we put the solar panels? Hmm. Trying to think how we're going to shape this. That looks okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Then we can spread this out, then go, yeah, then go down. That way we're sort of hiding the anchors and definitely hiding these gyros. By the way, we don't need all four of these gyros. I'll probably replace two of them fairly soon. 
Yeah, I really like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that looks too much like a butt. So, nope, let's do something else. <laughs> okay, so this will give it a grand total of eight solar panels and loads of thrusters. So this should be able to get very, very high up in the air indeed. Maybe should have added the gyroscopes first. Ooh. So that's as high as it can get, and that's because of all the anchors. If we use less anchors, it will get higher up. But actually, that's about the right altitude. Okay, so we need to add the gyro, we need to add a shield, we need to add some repair balls, and we need to add the weapons themselves. And of course, the AI, and hopefully this even works. We're definitely going to be using the Hawkeye cruise missiles, because we're so high up, I don't trust the other weapons really. Plus, anything with recoil could cause problems. Although, I do love these cannons. Hmm. Or maybe the Venture missiles instead, once again, that kind of blends in better. But, they are a lot weaker and uh, not as long range. We're going for overpowered here, I don't mind using Hawkeye missiles, this is the first time doing something like this. I'm okay with it, I have convinced myself. Let's use the better future shields, because honestly, I haven't used them yet, so there we are. Nice and simple. Though, that is a bit redundant. There is a bit too much shielding there, honestly, but I can't put it in the middle. So it's this, or I go slowly crazy. So we're going to stick with this. Now, when it comes to the repair bubbles, we could use two Hawkeye ones here and here. Mostly because it does actually blend pretty well as well. So let's just do this. Pretty well as well. Yeah, that sounded weird to me. Anyway. That's okay. Although I could instead maybe put smaller bubbles in the corners. Though that definitely covers everything and there's a bit of redundancy, which we don't really need. Hmm, not sure if I like this. I might change my mind about this. What we could do instead is have the repair bubble and the shield both in the middle. Both of them won't be exactly in the middle, but yeah, far less unneeded redundancy. How about like this? Now, it doesn't look too bad right now, but... Yeah, that's clearly not in the middle, but we're going to deal with it, aren't we? Can we all agree not to freak? No, no, don't freak out, it's okay. I know it's asymmetrical, like most of my things, <laughs> honestly, every time I build anything, it does tend to be asymmetrical in some way, but this time, I'm aware of it. I understand it, and once we can get over that, we can be in a new place of zen. I mean, I just talked so much rubbish then. I even zoned myself out. That's... That's pretty impressive. Ooh, I like that. Makes it look all science -y and complex and stuff. Well, that's not working as intended. That's better. There we go. Lovely. Now then, all we need is the weaponry and the AI and to give it a quick test. Very nice. Okay, we are now perfectly capable of moving this thing around. There we are, back to how it was. That's an enemy there, which I think will be close enough for it to realise it's there. Is that trying to turn? It's hard to tell. With that many anchors, it won't really be able to turn anyway. Oh, I guess that's a good point. With that many anchors, yeah, it probably doesn't really matter, as long as it doesn't mess up. That seems to be fine to me. Okay, let's give it some weapons and see if it can deal with that. Um... This is a missile. It's the best thing in the game. Have fun. Let's just add them on the outside for now, just to see if we can get this thing to work. And if we can, then life is good. If we can't... Sadness, mostly. 
Oh, instantly fired. And killed the enemy. Ooh, a lot of missiles just hit the floor, though. Oh, dear. It needs to be higher up from the ground. Still, though, how cool is that? Okay, how about this for an alternate idea? Rather than using missiles... Let's get that the correct way around. What about lasers? Which are both targeting different things, which is pretty cool. These are very long range, not the most accurate, but they do look awesome. Hmm, let's see then. If I remove this one as well, goodbye, add one more here. Is that the correct way around? I think it is. Yep, that can also face upwards, and there we go. We can always have three of these targeting pretty much anything. And that is quite a bit of damage. Problem is, once again, I have made essentially a mushroom. I don't know why all my builds at the moment turn into mushrooms, but they do. So, anything too close also gets the eyeball lasers at the bottom, which is pretty nice. Yet, we should be able to have three of these firing most of the time, but two of them almost guaranteed. In fact, I would say, yeah, two of them guaranteed, three of them a lot of the time. And that's quite a lot of damage at a decent range. I would say that works out just fine. Okay, what I'm going to do is go into the creative mode, place this somewhere, and then bring enemies towards it and see if it does indeed get the job done. I think it should be just fine. Hello? Oh. Oh, come on, get closer. Oops. Oh, I hear shots. And down it goes. Lovely. A little bit of damage done there. Now, because we've just taken some damage, let's find out something. I want to know if you can repair these on the bottom. Because if so, we could just add a little shield bubble down here to defend them. You can heal them! Fantastic. That would be really easy to set up. Just a really basic setup down there just with a single shield and a single repair bubble. That would make these so difficult to fight. Okay. Let's quickly give this thing some missiles, test that out, and then I will say this is a success and definitely something to bear in mind for future builds. Hello? I said hello. Don't fight each other, fight me! Ooh! Not that effectively, please. Oh, come on, I know I'm quick, but there we go. Missiles. <laughs> lovely. Utterly lovely. Essentially, it has two missiles facing in each direction, so it's always going to be able to hit someone with at least two missiles. Oh my god, you have missiles too! That's cheating! Now, this fellow has missiles, so I need to be very, very careful. No! Ow. Missiles overpowered. Spleen destroyed. Right. How did I survive that? Yeah, it's like that. All you did was destroy all of my limbs. Come at me, bro. Oh, God. Defend me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, missiles. You're such a broken system in this game, and I utterly, utterly adore it. Fear me. 
So I think in conclusion, these are perfectly viable and I really do think that missiles are always going to be the go-to weapon for pretty much anything unless you want to be a bit more balanced. I've had a lot of fun today, but sadly I didn't have the time I wanted. So although I am actually very happy with this, next time I will have a lot longer and we will be making a true sky base. It will be much larger with far more functionality and probably able to defend itself as well. It will be our nomadic base with all of the essentials. So crafting and everything else and that should hopefully be here before the end of next week so thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed today's video then of course likes favorite shares comments all that good stuff helps out me helps out the channel and most importantly shows that terror tech is a series you wish to see continued in the future thank you so so much for watching and goodbye